Hi guys, this is Thunder E from Border Work, and we're going to take a look at Microsoft GDR 3 update, which is available now through the previews for developer program, which Microsoft announced today. It's very simple, it's through this application here, previews for developers. You can download it, um, it's available in the App Store, we have the link for you, which you can scan with this video right now. And uh, you can also check out the link in the description below. Now, when you download the app, you open it up, you see this. It says previews for developers. Now, it should say next because I've already signed in. Um, when you hit next, you sign in to your, with your Hotmail account or your Microsoft account. And you accept and you're good to go. So that gives you the opportunity to download um, GDR3 update. Now, once you've installed this and it says you're good to go, what you need to do is then go into your settings and then go to, um, I believe that's uh, phone update and search for update and you should be able to get the update for GDR3. Now this is simple, similar to what Microsoft has done with the update program with Windows 8. They, they're trying to put it out there for people to use ahead of time. So a couple of new features in here that are quite key. The first one of course is the improved multitask system. So to multitask on Windows Phone, you hold down the back button and that brings you this multitask menu. But now you can see there's an X button on top and also tells you the name of the applications below. So you have screen rotation, uh, office, email, and I can just X an application out, whatever application I choose to, and it's very simple, very simple, easy feature, which is very nice. Um, although I wish it did have the slide through option, which would be just much easier, especially when you go to bigger devices. Uh, the other new update is, of course, screen rotation. So um, screen rotation lock, meaning once you turn off screen rota rotation, when you're looking at an image and you flip it over, it still stays locked or whatever screen you're on. So I already have an image open here. I can go here to Tipsy Spartacus and I rotate the image around. As you can see, it's still locked in that position. So that is a nice little update that they have added in here. Now let's head back, um, head back to our system settings to see some more updates. Uh, of course, the updates, of course, to the ringtones. So add custom ringtones to your messages, voicemail, email, and reminders. And then uh, another new feature also is the storage. So in phone storage, uh, which you can do on all your Windows devices. You can tap and go in and see how much storage is used per application. But now it's color coded, allowing you to see how best some of these, uh, some of the apps or things you have in your device are taking up space. So we have uh, yellow there, and we can scroll down. We can see that system settings that takes up a, a lot of space. Maps is red that takes up a lot. Uh, for pictures. And then, of course, applications are taking quite a few there. So you can clearly see it just adds a little extra elements. Now, the thing about GDR3 update, it doesn't include any updates from Nokia with the uh, uh, beta suite. And also, when you update your device, it doesn't, act, doesn't wipe out anything. It carries all your information over. So this is a nice, clean update uh, through the developer program. So you don't lose anything. Of course, they say you cannot revert back. But people have said they are ways to do that so that's something um, to take notes there a uh, couple other things to find here on the gdr3 update uh, that they've put out it also supports uh 1080p this 1080p displays uh five inches and up to uh we don't have that here of course but that means the 1520 will be supported with uh this update it also has the drive mode now if we go over drive mode it's here in your settings you can actually set that up that enables you to uh do a lot of hands-free stuff while driving, and that, that means basically answering uh, calls or text messages with automated prompts. So we hit next here, and you can, of course, click on that to either ignore calls and ignore text. And then you have the ability to uh, set up automated replies. So there's a preset automated reply that says, driving right now, will get back to you later. Automatically sent from a, a driving mode on Windows Phone. You can actually customize this message to say whatever you want to say, hey, guys, I'm busy, don't call me now, or whatever you want to do. So you can actually do that, hit next, and then you pair it to your Bluetooth device, most likely a Bluetooth headset, or your vehicle, if your vehicle has Bluetooth, and that's how you set up driving mode. So you can actually set that up once you are paired to a Bluetooth device, it will switch, you, it will ignite driving mode for you. So that's a couple of the options there. There also is the ability to um, send messages, uh, attach files through 
or your email. Now you could do that initially through SkyDrive, but now you can do it with documents on your device. So if you go to phone here and you look at one of the documents here, I can actually hold down on that and I can share. And then I can actually select a document. I mean, select, select an email and email the attachment off from here. So I can say Hotmail and of course the email is attached. So I can do that and send attachments. Now it's not as straightforward as we would like through the email, just through regular replies, but it's still a way to send documents uh, t through emails on a mobile phone since no, uh, no platform actually supports that uh, off the bat. So that's a nice little feature there for GDR3. Um, overall, uh, we'll, we will spend some more time uh, testing it out to see if there are any battery improvements or things like that. But this is just a quick hands-on look at GDR3 update on uh, Windows Phone 8, which you can get now. Again, all you need is to download the preview for developers application and uh, load that up, uh, sign in, and you are good to go to actually update your device. You can update all your devices from Lumia 1020, the 925, the 928, which we have here, and I believe also the 7, uh, 720 and 620. Your 520 is not on that list yet, but um, we'll keep you informed on that. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all Border Work with 2.0. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.